love how mellow you are. You're really sure. I got my truck shipped back from Alaska and made it to Vancouver and had my first uh, my first break in. Welcome to Vancouver, baby. Wow. Might not look like it to you, but believe it or not, this truck is a lot lighter right now, unfortunately. And although it's easy to say like, Oh, somebody else probably needed that stuff more than me. It still sucks, and it's a hard pill to swallow. As much as it sucks, having somebody take like all of the fishing gear I've worked hard to get over the last six years of my life, I also took a drone and uh, my dirty bag of laundry. Like I legit don't have any underwear right now. Like to my name, all of my underwear are gone. It was actually even worse seeing like the condition of the homeless population in Vancouver. It's out of hand, honestly, but yeah. Woke up to this window being smashed right there. Um, and then all four of the bags that are normally in here were snatched, um, a pair of boots, as well as a box of the brand new merchandise, which I'm wearing one of the shirts right now, but um, <laughs> there's gonna be some people walking around Vancouver with some new some new Mav stuff, so. Um, also, if you guys haven't seen that, check it out on the website, mavmadeit.com. Uh, help me pay my insurance deductible. That'd be appreciated. <laughs> We're working on these wonderful new things in Portland. These are the new Nalgene bags, made by a pretty cool guy named Chris out in Portland. We collaborated, and I think they turned out really nice. There's gonna be two colors, the purple and the green and yellow. They're like a crossbody bag that holds a Nalgene. But pretty excited about these. Um, so here's where they stole the bags. These were uh, big totes before, if you remember. Um, different colored ones. I like a green one, a yellow one, a blue one, and a red one. Like I said, there's some knee-high boots and some chairs sitting right here. I can't remember everything that was right here. On top of here, my waders got stolen, as well as my uh, sling bag for fishing. All of my fly fishing lures got stolen. And then my power tool kit with my uh, DeWalt screw gun. But this is the uh, this is the kicker here. This is one thing in the truck that they didn't steal, which I would have been very upset if they did. And that's a Russian MRE. So that's what's gonna be on the menu for dinner tonight. Um, it's things like that that are priceless. And somebody actually sent that to me from, uh, I think it was from the Czech Republic. So they like shipped it all the way over here. That couldn't have been cheap. So I'd have been pretty sad if that was gone. Getting all my things stolen made me realize uh, sometimes you just have to take advantage of things when you can. And so today we are going to be trying our Russian MRE. One thing that I've really liked about being in this area is that there's a lot of fun stores to stop at. So definitely in need of a little pick me up. So we're gonna stop at a few antique and thrift stores today. Hi there. Hi, how you doing? Good, you? Not too bad. Just doing some browsing. Yeah. <laughs> Those are awesome. In there. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Got some fun stuff, and it was a pleasure to meet you. Cool, likewise. Found some stuff I liked. Imagine that. I don't think these are going to fit in the truck. Come on, 
I've never seen a more diverse market. And I guess it's called goats on a roof. Fitting. I'll do a spicy chicken roll and a spanakopita. Mm. This is lunch. Spanakopita. A spicy chicken roll. I'm not really sure what this is, but. Domestic rabbits, Norwegian rabbits running around. Hello! What do they say? Trucking like rabbits, right? That's what they say. We need to get trucking like rabbits. I'm I'm lollygagging right now. I wanted to go see goats on a roof. I was supposed to go on a hike. 34 p.m. Oh baby. I've got about two hours until I get to Tofino. There's also a big piece of the road that's under construction right now and wait times are up to 40 minutes. So I'm just gonna head straight there even though I was gonna stop on a hike. Maybe I'll hit it on the way back or something. But yeah, we've got some, some sprinkling rain. Right now it's 49 degrees outside Fahrenheit. So it's kinda, kinda cooling off today. I'm gonna knock out some of this drive and then we'll find a spot to pull off for the night to camp and eat our Russian MRE. Construction zone territory now. Also, in a no camp zone, and it's the first one I've ever camped at that says has a has a fee associated with it if you uh, get caught. So we might end up paying two hundred dollars tonight to camp here. <laughs> Hopefully not. But I mean, what are they gonna say if I just? I mean, I could just say I was resting my eyes, or when I'm cooking, I guess I could just say, well, I wasn't gonna camp here. No, sir. Uh, what's the whole reason you're here? It's for this guy right here. This Russian MRE. I am going to download Google Translate right now because I want to know what this stuff says. This one looks like it is Mexican chicken with vegetables. It has liver pate in here, apple jam, black tea, caramel, the food heater, plastic spoon, and a tonic drink. I don't know what cac sap is, but apparently that's a uh, pretty big portion of this meal. It has 34 grams of protein. That's all about all I know about this thing. Okay, well, I guess without further ado, we should probably start tearing into it. So on the outside, it just looks like a regular old MRE, as you can see. Very strong plastic. Uh oh. Do not know what that is, but that's kind of scary. Anything canned for me gives me the ick. And that looks like, I mean, it looks like it could be dessert in there, but I think that's just canned meat. We'll see. Right, so we got a mysterious can, but I don't know what it is. We've got some crackers. Looks like we have more crackers. Whole wheat and white crackers. Lots of carbs here. Oh, and that's it. It's empty. I believe this is the heating pack. Yeah. There we go. And then here is our Mexican chicken. 
All right, we're gonna dive into our little package here. What we got here? Our applesauce. Cox, I don't know what this is. I'm imagining these are our tea packets. I had to take a wild guess. Spoon, it's important. Black tea, pepper, gum, and napkin. There's everything that came in the package. All right, breaking out the translator app. Let's see if I can figure out what this is. Oh, crystalline beet. Is it beet juice? What is this? This is a drink also. Tonic drink, fruit with lemon. So it has apples, chokeberry, and wild rose. That sounds pretty good. I don't know what chokeberry is, but this is all salt. Oh my gosh, it's a giant packet of salt. All right, what is this? Oh, this is a pate. Oh Lord, that's, that's pate. What about these? Oh, these are disinfecting napkins, not coffee. All right, I'm gonna try the pate. We're gonna go for it. Mm. It looks like cat food. It smells like cat food. It literally looks like cat food. I don't know about this. Oh, we don't really use pate in like any American cooking that I know of. The only time I've ever really had it before was in banh mi. This is all right though. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm obviously eating it, so. It is important to get your daily proteins and truthfully, I think that's a, uh, a big portion of this meal. Don't love it, don't hate it. I wanna try this drink. Whoa, what the? It's like a brown drink. It's pretty gnarly. Wait, what's that? Sorry, hi. Yeah. Yeah, no, okay, sounds good, man. I'm sorry. No, no, no. All right. Yep, no worries. All right. Pretty gnarly. Pretty mellow for the amount of powder that you had in there. It's like maybe I made it too watery. Hmm. Definitely very floral. It's like rose water. It's really nice. Well, I suppose I should heat this up at some point, huh? Jicky. Let's try this out. So now we're gonna put this on top of this. Just pour in some water, I guess. Oh, the cow is hot. Wait, what the? Okay. That heating packet was like twice the size of the ones in American MREs. I like this drink. Drink's good. Holy, that is so hot. I would like to see what this is all about. Is this just sugar? I'm pretty sure this is just sugar, dude. I'm not eating all that. That's just sugar. See that? Try some applesauce on this one. That cracker tastes like wood glue. That's horrible. The applesauce is good though. Definitely a lot different than the uh, American version. All right, let's see if this thing's ready to pick up yet. Sure. 
Why not? Woo! It's hot. Ow, it's hot. Oh. Alright, moment of truth. What the fuck? What the heck is that? It's kind of gnarly looking. It's all stuck together. It smells pretty good. Well, there's bite number one. Oh, it's pretty nice. It's not bad. Yeah, it's actually really good. But this one is the Mexican rice and chicken. It's got uh, peas and carrots, corn, chicken pieces, rice, and... I think that's about it. I taste the corn a lot and the chicken pieces. Everything else just kind of blends together. One thing that I like is that the chicken breast is actually just like, it looks like normal chicken. It's like just pulled apart rather than cut into super tiny, small chunks. My carbon monoxide alarm is going off, so. Some Thanks for saving my life. All right, last thing to try is this little lozenge, which I don't really know what it says, but this thing tastes like a cop drop. I uh, moved spots because when I was eating my meal, a gentleman came out and said he would prefer if I didn't sleep there. And he lived in the house next to that I was parked to, so hopefully I'm okay here. But I don't want to turn my lights on again because it'll draw attention. In the three and a half years I've been truck camping, I've never had that carbon monoxide alarm go off, so I wonder what happened. This rose water drink was definitely the best thing in that box. All right, well, hopefully I don't get kicked out of this spot. We'll see ya in the morning. <laughs> it might not look like 7 a.m but that's the joy of it getting closer to winter. If you have anything that you want me to try in the video or think that's different, I have a PO box linked in every description of every single one of my videos. Oh, all right. Well, I'm gonna be hanging out in Tofino for the next few days and then uh, working my way down the West Coast. So hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. As always, until next time, you know the drill. Just keep on trucking.